A Hunt County family tonight finally getting the answers that they have been looking for. And it turns out those answers were at the bottom of a lake. Aaron Jones showing us now who helped to piece together this mystery. March 17th, 1991, 23 year old Carrie Parker left her job in Quinlan, Texas, and was never seen again. If I ever got one tip, I was on it because I was determined. And in a lot of ways, I feel like. Carrie was inside of me, driving me. For the last 30 years, Trish Gager has been searching for her sister, and most of that time, she's felt alone. And I've been very angry most of my life because I feel nobody looked for her. She hadn't been looked for in 30 years. That is until Adventures with Purpose recently came across her case. The organization out of Oregon travels the country, offering their free car recovery services for these situations. So they told me, they said, well, go ahead and figure out in your gut where you think that we should look. Gager recommended searching Lake Tawakini, which is near a road her sister would take home from work. So last week they started there near a cove. It was basically the only place we had to search because the wind was too rough. And while we were doing that on our sonar, just this car popped up and there's nothing really surrounding it. Yeah. And it's just we, when that happens, we just call it the feeling. They started pulling out parts. They put the bumper in the car, and I looked at it and compared it to her car, what it would look like in the 80s. And I, I said, oh my God, this is going to be her car. So, how did you know it was actually her car? And they said it went to a 1980 Buick Skylark. That's what it hit me that it was her. I mean, you could see the initial like wave of emotion going over them, you know, after, you know, you know, over 25 years of wondering. Although her sister's body was not found and it's still unclear exactly what happened to her, Adventures with Purpose finally gave Gager the answers she's been looking for. They gave me a gift. In Quinlan, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.